name is Dr. Miranda Levant. I'm here at the A4M conference with Dr. Steven Johnson. And we're going to be talking a little bit about mistletoe therapy and how he's kind of come to utilize mistletoe in practice. I want to just speak a little bit about the history of mistletoe, right? And so it is the season. Everyone thinks about mistletoe during the holidays as something that you kiss under, right? But there are over 1,200 different species of mistletoe, yeah. right? And we use about four of them more specifically, uh, maybe more than that, as an integrative cancer therapy. But what's really interesting is that um, in the 1900s, there was a uh, particular physician, uh, Rudolf Steiner, who um, really uh, was the pioneer of discovering mistletoe, right? He was observing how mistletoe grew um, on trees. It's really a parasitic plant. And during his observations, it really reminded him of how cancer spread in the body. So he started utilizing it in his patients and started seeing uh, incredible responses uh, with tumors. And so I just want to speak a little bit uh, with Dr. Johnson here, uh, who is the sure. author of one of the newer uh, uh, books on Thank mistletoe you. therapy and how you kind of came to utilize mistletoe and understand it as an integrative cancer therapy. Sure. Well, probably my first experience was seeing how it was made. Uh, it's the Viscum album, which comes from Western Europe. It's a very specific species of mistletoe. And as you know, it grows on different trees. And depending on the tree it grows on, it has different properties. So just to watch how they extract it, how they extract it in the winter, yeah. which is very unusual. Mm -hmm. This plant fruits in the winter, which yeah. is highly unusual. And then there's different companies that manufacture it. And the way they mix it and separate it was so fascinating to yeah. me. And then when I got to use it with my first patient, which was a prostate cancer patient, mm -hmm. stage four, given about six months to live, he lived about seven years. Mm -hmm. And so that was using mistletoe injections, mistletoe intravenously, along with diet and other integrative interventions. So yeah. that was my first experience in realizing that it could work. But I think the thing that most attracted me to mistletoe is how it's a salutogenic plant. Mm -hmm. That means it strengthens the body's innate ability to heal, right? right? Salutogenesis is the origin of healing. Right. And if you look at the studies, the strongest studies are on quality of life, sleep, appetite, sense of well-being, sexuality, yeah. Um, yeah, having energy during the day, feeling cognitively right. more alert, all these other things that are part of the plant which show it's not just about lectins and viscotoxins treating right. cancer, it's also about making the body stronger and strengthening the immune system. So that's what really impressed me about the medicine as an adjunct in cancer therapy. Amazing, yeah. Mistletoe has so many incredible properties, right? We talked about it being an immunotherapy and he's, Dr. Johnson's talking about how uh, specifically it improves the quality of life in patients. And that doesn't have to mean end stage, right? That can mean improving fatigue no. levels, that can mean improving appetites no. and things like and I that. I wish patients would use it earlier or even preventatively, but of course people often don't look to natural therapies until things are quite advanced. Right. But I think you get even better results if you started earlier adjunctively. Right. right. And so this is a treatment that we can use during active therapy as well as prevention, yes. right? It even seems to enhance conventional therapy. Yep. Uh, chemotherapy, radiation works with checkpoint inhibitors okay. and also works well with most integrative oncology practices. Yeah, there's incredible evidence behind it, right? Over uh, close to 3,000 publications, to my knowledge. There's about 150 studies, probably about 20 that are yeah. really good, but yeah. it's the most studied natural cancer therapy out there. Yeah. I don't know the exact number, but it's a lot. Incredible. So <laughs> we're so excited to be utilizing mistletoe therapy in our clinic. And thank you so much, Dr. Johnson. Well, so nice to meet you today. You as well. Thanks. Thank you.